What's up guys, I'm back with another video. I apologize for uh, looking like this. I've just been working today, uh, organizing my room, got some more record shelves. I'm organizing, alphabetizing everything, getting everything situated. And it's really hot in Texas again. We had our two weeks of winter and now it's back up into the high 70s and 80s. So yeah, fun stuff. It's February and we're already that hot. So the summer is gonna be really hot as usual, I'm sure. Uh, but anyway, I have a box full of just records and a bunch of CDs that I've bought over the last two months. So this is my vinyl, whatever you want to call, haul video for the last two months. Uh, been buying a lot of stuff online. Some stuff in stores, but a lot of stuff I've just been ordering online because I've gotten good deals on it. A couple of these for Ursa from Amazon. Uh, I didn't realize that since I am... In college, I can get Amazon Prime free for six months, uh, like a free trial. So I did that, and I've been ordering stuff because, you know, you get free shipping, free two-day shipping, and you can get CDs that are seven, eight bucks and shipped uh, like that. So that's cool. Um, posted a couple videos a couple weeks ago. I'm going to try to at least post one video a week. Uh, that doesn't include concert videos. If I go to a concert and post those videos, those won't count as the videos. I mean, actual record music videos. Um, so yeah, sorry this is going to be a long video, but I got a lot of stuff to show. Figured y'all would want to see it because I haven't really posted anything new. The videos I posted a couple weeks ago um, were stuff from last year. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get right into it. Got a bunch of CDs, like I said. Um, I'll tell you where I found each one. Uh, these first couple I found at Half Price Books. Yeah, the rest of them I ordered online. Um, but anyway, Elvis Blue Hawaii. Uh, I have this on vinyl, but this had a couple bonus tracks, alternate takes, movie versions and stuff. And that was a dollar at Half Price Books, so that's cool. Uh, and then TNT, Firefly, and Live. Uh, this is a band that I know is a hair band from the 80s, and I'd never really heard them. Uh, so I found this for a dollar, gave it a listen. It's... It's good. It's a little heavier than I thought, but it, it's good. Then we have Blue Oyster Cult, uh, Agents of Fortune. Of course, this is the album with the big hit, Don't Fear the Reaper. The reason I bought this is because it has a demo version at the end, so that was cool. Uh, and then The Best of Mountain. I have this on cassette and vinyl, uh, but wanted this on CD because it has four extra tracks, and most of those songs that are extra tracks are um, songs from the first album, Leslie West's solo album called Mountain, the first Mountain album, whatever you want to consider it. It's a Mountain album. Um, and this one was really cool. This is one I've been looking for recently on eBay, and then I came across it for a dollar. Uh, it's Fit for a King, a uh, tribute to Albert King, with a bunch of great guys on here. You got Pat Travers, Rick Derringer, Leslie West, Frank Marino, Ricky Medlock, John Butcher, Steve Hunter, um, and then the other guys, I don't know who they are, but it's just some great stuff playing his blues stuff. Pat Travers' version of The Sky is Crying is really good. Of course, Leslie West's version of The Crosscut Saw. He did that on another album. He put it out on another album, I believe. Uh, so they just used it for this. Um, and then these are the ones I bought online. Or no. Found these two at a music store here in Houston. Or in Houston. I'm not in Houston, but anyway um, it's like a smoke shop music store type deal and they had new CDs that were still sealed but they were in the used section because I guess they were a couple years old and they had a deal where buy one get one free so they were five bucks a piece so I got both of them for five bucks that was cool uh, Joe Bonamassa driving towards the daylight um, this isn't a great album but I mean it, it's just some solid blue stuff he is a great guitar player this isn't one of his better albums but I mean, figured I'd give it a try. Then we have Albert uh, Albert King, I'll Play the Blues for You, so, you know, the guy that they did the tribute album for that I just showed. Um, this had some cool alternate versions and bonus tracks, so that was cool, and I love his stuff. Uh, in the CD sleeves, uh, I actually finally invested in some of these because I'm getting tired of buying new CDs, and then, you know, the cases get cr scratched up. And then the Digipacks, I, f I hate those with a passion, but I've noticed the sleeves kind of help protect them. From scratches and everything um, so yeah there's that um, found this actually at Goodwill for they had it priced at 4.99 which was a little high for three CDs but it was cool it's a Janis Joplin three CD set and it's got cosmic blues or I got them old cosmic blues again mama um, and then Janis Joplin in concert 
and then farewell song and these were all sealed so I opened them and put them in those sleeves and then it has a cool booklet with some pictures and stuff so that was worth five bucks to me I love her stuff so that's that and then bought Leslie West as fat as you can get or as fat as it gets um, great blues album uh, this one actually has Joe Lynn Turner singing vocals on two songs, The Cell, and I believe I can't shake it. I may be wrong, but I, for sure The Cell, but this is just a great album. Leslie's stuff's all killer. Um, and then we have Alice Cooper's A Paranormal Even Evening with Alice Cooper Live in Paris. Uh, stupid digipack thing, but it's a good album. And we have Saxon... Uh, Decade of the Eagle, uh, just the greatest hits compilation. Didn't have much of their stuff on CD. The only other CD I have is their album Thunderbolt that they released last year. Uh, and then Gary Moore, uh, Blues and Beyond. This is an album that was released last year, just a compilation of some of his stuff. And there was a four CD version that has some live stuff, a live show that they remastered and everything and finally released. It had never been released before, but that CD is like 60 bucks. And I just can't justify paying that much for a CD. And it's on vinyl too, but it's more expensive than that. So I just settled for the one that has, you know, stuff that I already have, but needed to add that to my collection. And last but not least, uh, I've showed this guy before, up and coming country artist just signed with Nash Warner Music Nashville. So he's, this was his first big release and it's Cody Johnson, ain't nothing to it. And this is a great album. Uh, if you've never heard his stuff, like I said before, listen to it. Even if you don't like country, it's a good album. Uh, it's more in that Texas country, 90s, traditional country, whatever you want to call it, style of country. It's not the pop stuff that's on the radio. Um, it's just got some great songs on it. And I'll show that on vinyl in a few minutes because I bought the vinyl too because I just love it. Um, then on to vinyl. Uh, Half Price Books. Found this for a dollar. Burton Cummings. His self-titled album, In the Shrink, with the hype sticker. I know he's from the Guess Who. Not, I've never really heard much of his stuff, so just figured I'd give that a try for a dollar. Then at Goodwill, I found 10 Years After, their greatest hits. I love 10 Years After, and this was a cool find. And then we have Loretta Lynn and Conway Twitty, Country Partners, an album I didn't have. I'm not going to say where I found all these, except for the ones I bought online. Uh, Black Oak, Arkansas, Raunch and Roll. Um, and this one's actually cool because it has, when this came out, it came with a deed for one square inch of property in Arkansas, and that's still in there, so that's kind of cool. And I looked this up, and technically it is a real thing. Like you could, So I technically own one square inch of property in Arkansas, but I mean, it's not that big of a deal, so... And this one I bought as a joke, because my dad always talked about how much he hated this dude. He saw him in Austin back in the day, and he was just, thought it was the stupidest thing. But it's Joe King Carrasco and the Crowns. Uh, so I just bought that as a joke, just to show him, and he got a laugh out of that. Uh, and then we got Neil Young and Crazy Horse Zuma. Not a huge fan of his, but couldn't leave that behind. And got the original inner sleeve. I figured I can resell that and probably get my money back for sure. Um, Waylon Jennings Full Circle with the sh hype sticker in the shrink and how I didn't have of his. Then we have Jesse Coulter, uh, Diamond in the Rough, and then Waylon again, uh, Black on Black. Then we have Johnny Winter, It's My Life Baby. I bought this off a guy off Discogs that had some sealed albums and he had another album, the one I'm about to show. And this one was listed for six bucks, so I figured, you know, he would combine shipping, so might as well grab it. This was a record store day release back in 26, 2015, I believe. And the one I did buy, or I wanted, was Ted Nugent's Sweden Rocks. Uh, this album online on eBay in Discogs normally sells for about 20 bucks, or that's at least what it's listed on. But this guy on eBay had these listed for eight bucks, still sealed, so... It's a great live show, double live album. Doesn't beat Double Live Gonzo, but it's still a great show. I'm trying to save some of this for last, some of the best for last. I uh, found this at Goodwill, couldn't believe it. T Rex, the slider. Not in the best shape, got some water damage on the corner, and the vinyl is kind of scratched, but it still plays, so that's fine. Especially for a dollar. Then we have Waylon Jennings, uh, the last recordings going down rocking. 
what this was was some demos that he had recorded of him singing and playing guitar before he passed away and they kind of just sat there and then a couple of years later uh, his family and the producer that worked with him or whatever and the bass player from his band I, I don't know the whole story but they got together and decided to track you know other guitars and bass and drums behind it and release it so that's really cool that those songs finally got released and this was one of those things where the guy had it listed for eleven dollars and the CD was eight dollars so I just went ahead and got the vinyl I'm trying to save some of the best for last like I said uh, this is something I no, I'll save that one too uh, we have White Wolf I bought a lot of five of these albums some of them were blind buys some of them I knew what it was White Wolf on tour special EP thing uh, the cover is trashed but it is a promo thing the vinyls in decent shape uh, it's a re done version of Metal Thunder and Standing Alone re-recorded version. Um, White Wolf is a Canadian band that's really good, uh, if y'all didn't know who they are. So that was cool. The reason I bought this lot was for this album. It's Wild, and this is a Gold Stamp promo. I know Peaches will like that. All these that I'm about to show are Gold Stamp promos. Um, this is a really good band. Um, it's like a, I guess you could call it punk hair metal. Because it's not just straightforward hair metal, but it has the sound, the guitar playing, and the drums, and everything from the hair metal stuff. But the vocals are more like punk-like. But it, it's a really good album. And I had seen this online. Somebody had showed this in a YouTube video, and they were talking about it. And I was like, that's really interesting. And I went and listened to it, and I wanted it. So I found this lot that had five albums in it for the price of what I would have just paid for this. And this copy is a promo copy, so that was cool. Uh, the other albums in there were Legal Weapon, uh, Life Sentence to Love. Once again, Gold Stamp promo with the hype sticker on there. Uh, this is same thing, like a punk metal thing with female vocals, but it's pretty good. Um, and then we have Victims of the Pestilence. I think that's what it's called, Victims of the Pestilence. This is like a five-song EP, Born to Leave, also with the Gold Stamp promo. Uh, not sure what that is. I haven't listened to it. And then we have The Broken Home, Seeds I've Sown. Uh, 12 inch promo sorry about the doorbell somebody's in my house but I'm not worried about it um, and then this one I found I've been looking for this for a while deep purple perfect strangers live found this at that record smoke shop that I was talking about it was $30 but that was a good deal because this normally sells for like 60 online so I got it for half off uh, 4 LP 2 CD and 1 DVD so that's really cool and we have April wine the whole world's going crazy uh, was looking for this, found it at the same place for $3.99. Uh, so that's really cool. And we have Roy Clark uh, in concert, still sealed with the hype sticker. I will be opening this and listen to it because I love his stuff. And then we have Waylon Live. Uh, this copy is kind of beat up, but it is a German pressing. It's pretty scratch, but I found it for a dollar at half price books, so I couldn't pass that up. It still plays fine, it just ticks a couple times. And then Ronnie Millsap Pure Love, an album I didn't have to add to my Ronnie Millsap collection. I'm trying to move everything over. Sorry. And then we have. God, this is a long video. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to figure out. Okay, we're getting right to the end. Uh, this I had bought sealed. A guy had a sealed copy online. Other copies you could get from Germany. For about the same price but this guy in the u.s had a sealed copy pat travers boom boom live in 1991 at the diamond club in toronto and this is a great show uh, it's a double live album and i was worried that it was going to come warped it didn't the only thing the only problem since it was a glossy cover is when i opened it there was a little tiny spot on each side right there that was stuck together that ripped but that's no big deal at all uh, so that was cool i've been wanting that for a while I uh, love Pat Travers stuff, especially live. I think he's better live than in the studio. But don't get me wrong, his studio stuff is good too. Then we have some docking stuff here. Uh, Prisoner 12-inch single, white label promo. Both song, same song on both sides with the hype sticker. And then we have the single for Just Got Lucky and Alone Again, my favorite song. Also white label promo. And then Into the Fire. On both sides, white label promo. Bought these in a lot from a guy on eBay for like seven bucks. Um, then we have the Leslie West Band. 
self-titled album. This was sealed, and I busted it open. Uh, great stuff. Just great 70s mountain-style Leslie West rock. And I bought another copy of this from Germany. Got listed it on eBay. Uh, they've been listing them mostly as a buy it now for the last couple months, but this guy did an auction, and I won it for $12. And it's Don Dawkins breaking the chains, or Dawkins breaking the chains with just the name Dawkins. This is the rarer version. There's a version that says Don Dawkins. That I think is more common than this. I may have it backwards, but I have copies of both. But whenever I find these for cheap, I pick them up on the Career label. And this is the more raw mix. That's now that's cool. This is something I guess there's a couple different versions because every other copy of this that I have says George's Lynch. They put an S at the end of George, but this one just says George Lynch. So that's the first one I've seen like that. So wow, that's that's actually really cool. I didn't notice that until now. But anyway, that's a rare album, and I have a million copies of it for whatever reason. Um, then we have an album I've wanted for a while. It's Ozzy Osbourne's Ozzy Live that was released for Record Store Day a couple of years ago. And then they later reissued it, but this was one of the Record Store versions, and it's number 4,692 out of, I don't know how many they put out. Uh, just a great live album that was unreleased until that time. Uh, you can hear some of what this is, is a show that they, the Ozzy's uh, Randy Rhodes tribute was pieced together from two different shows. And some of these songs you can hear, they sound just like the tribute version, but then the solos are different or the other way around. The solo sounds the same, but the song's different. So you can, this is just one of the full shows. I forget where this was recorded. This is either recorded in Chicago or I think a Toronto version. I think those are the two shows. I may be wrong about that. But anyway, and then the D, uh, side D, the last side has Goodbye to Romance, the 2010 guitar and vocal mix, which is great. I mean, if you just want to hear Ozzy and Randy just together without the drums and everything, it, it's just great. And then RR was a Randy Rhodes solo that he had recorded that they didn't find until later on. It's just a like minute and a half just him jamming so that's that and then last but not least two Gary Moore albums I needed for my collection uh, one of these I didn't have and it's Gary Moore Moore and Guitar Crazy just a Japanese compilation every time I see these Japanese Gary Moore albums I pick them up uh, so I got that for like 10 bucks and this next one I got for $8 uh, and it's Rockin' Every Night live in Japan 1983 I believe I may be wrong about that. Yeah, 1983. Um, I had a copy of this already, already Japanese, but mine didn't have the Obi strip. So for eight bucks, just for the Obi strip, that was worth it to me. So yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching, and I will get another video out very soon. Like I said, I'm going to try to post once a week, and I'm going to try to stick to that because I know last year I only posted maybe like 20 videos throughout the year, and that that's not cool because I have 900 subscribers now. Thank you all. And that just blows me away. So, you know, y'all deserve more videos than that for being subscribed to me. And I will be doing a contest very soon. So be on the lookout for that. I'm still trying to get it all figured out what kind of contest I want it to be and what kind of responses I want people to make and what the prize is going to be and everything. But be on the lookout for that. Uh, once again, thank you for watching, taking your time and, you know, watching my videos instead of more important stuff that you could be doing. Uh, but anyway, I'll talk to you guys again later. Thanks for watching. Peace out.